Okay, welcome back. This is day two. And as you can see, <laughs> there was a lot of water on this yesterday when I stopped and um, it got really muddy. So now it's just kind of this big, ucky, muddy mess. Um, it's interesting. It's uh, where this acrylic ink is. It's pretty thick right here. It's dry, but um, there's some texture that's built in there. So I'm just going to kind of spin this around a little bit see if anything inspires me. Um, my first thoughts are to add to my color palette. I do want to keep a fairly limited color palette. So the colors that, um, I kind of like this orientation actually, the colors that um, jumped out to me to add are, um, I had some red that I didn't add yesterday. This is acrylic ink and some marine blue acrylic ink for some contrast. I also picked out this really uh, caught my eye. This is acrylic gouache um, in fluorescent green. I don't know if I have um, acrylic paint in fluorescent green, but this, obviously I'm totally into fluorescence right now. And then this color really jumped out at, at me, which is this bl blit color in brilliant yellow green. And then of course I'll mix I've got some Marabou Art Crayons here in, um, what color is this? Gentian, looks like, um, yeah, and uh, Apple, and this is my favorite color, Aqua Green Teal. So I'll do some more mark making here and maybe throw in some gesso, mix a little bit of stuff. Just see where we get. The things that are making me super happy right now, I'm loving this with the fluorescent orange and how that yellow, that fluorescent yellow I started with underneath has kind of, kind of peeked through a little bit and where it's its original vibrance there. This shape I need to break up because this is just one big giant glob right here. So that's where I'll probably start is um, to break up some of that. So let me grab a paper towel. I have um, sort of a rudimentary one here. I've got a mixing palette off to my side. Uh, should I want to do that at this stage often, I'll just mix straight on the canvas. So I'm not super worried about it. And uh, I think I'm going to go in this orientation for a little bit. Although I kind of like that too. Hmm. Mm, actually, this kind of looks like a face right here. Check that out with an eye. Some horns. Ooh, that's kind of a spooky kind of looking face. That's kind of interesting. <coughs> um, I've got this icky, phlegmy sinus congestion thing too, so bear with me. Um, okay, so let me go set the timer and we'll go for five more minutes. It goes by super fast. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to go ahead and make some marks in here. These Marabou Art Crayons are water soluble, and so they will dissolve with water. Obviously, that's what water soluble means. And um, sometimes they can make some really interesting shapes to layer. So I'm just going to add that green in a few places over here. I think I'm going to focus primarily in this section a little bit. I use that marine blue. How about this bright blue might be really interesting. Maybe one or two places here. Did I use that one already? Maybe that's the one I already used. I don't know. I'll throw a little bit over here just in case. <clears throat> so what I think I'm going to do is instead of using water, let me throw a little bit of gesso on here and use that and see what that does with this. This kind of neutrally sort of color that's going on there. Mm. 
And kind of what's going on in my head right now is I'm just kind of going, well, what if? What if I do this? What if I do that? Like in my head, my brain is going, what if I take some of that acrylic gouache now in this fluorescent green color? If I can get it out of the bottle, which doesn't want to come out. Okay, so the answer to that is not today. Um, five minutes, don't have time to mess around. Let's do some more with the ink, do another kind of fluidy thing in there. Boy, these applicators on these Dale or Rowney ones just really don't really want to come out. Uh, where's my water bottle? So one of the things I noticed yesterday, adding water, um, maybe I'll use a brush for this. Uh, adding water, I've been working with watercolor paper a lot lately. And, uh, oh, I kind of like that. And um, watercolor paper holds, obviously, a lot of water. That's what it's meant to do. And I can add a significant amount of water and let it sit. And it won't puddle quite as much as it did on here yesterday. Because it's a canvas, it just sort of sat on top and uh, I think that's why I got so much puddling was because of that so I'm just going to tip this up here and see what kind of runny goodness I can get going on with this layer um, let's see over here I really love to just paint with my hands too. Oh, I like that. something underneath here it was making this a little bit muddy I think it's um could it be activating that uh, that acrylic ink that would be weird usually that doesn't happen because this is what's hard for me like I'll find an area I really like like this over here and I'll get precious about it like this makes me really happy in this corner and then I won't want to touch it or I won't want to do anything there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, with this process, you kind of got to get over that. So let me see. I like to do this with watercolor sticks to go into the wet paint with it and make more marks. I don't know why circles are calling to me today. So that's what we're doing. Oh my God, seriously? Okay, well, um, that's five minutes. This is hard, y'all. Like <laughs> this, five minutes, it's hard. Okay, I'm just gonna draw my finger around this real quickly. Don't hold me to it. And I guess we let this dry until tomorrow. Okay, hot mess day two. See you soon. <laughs>